हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन्फो इंजीनियरिंग होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल इन दिस करोना पैंडा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ रिजिड टर्म वी विल आल्सो कवर ऑल द वीडियोस रिगार्डिंग हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द जॉइंट्स इन रिजिड टर्मेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शूड नो वॉट इज द जॉइंट्स इन रिजिड टर्मेंट Joint is nothing but the discontinuity in the road pavement. Okay, so why joints are provided in the road pavement? So joints are provided for the expansion, contraction, and warping of the road. Okay, so there are mainly two concepts. Let us understand this concept with the help of example. Okay, so uh, what is happen actually uh, when we place the concrete? There is a certain specific temperature of the concrete. Let us take uh, the uh, temperature of the concrete is 30 degree centi at the time of placing of the concrete. Okay. So what happened during uh, winter season? The temperature of the environment fall downs. Okay. Uh, suppose the uh, temperature of the environment is below 30 degree Celsius. So what happened to the concrete? The concrete will shrink due to the external temperature is lower than the temperature of the concrete. So uh, likewise in the summer season, what will happen? Uh, the surrounding temperature or the environment temperature is more than 30 degree cent uh, centi, which is more than the uh, temperature of the concrete at the time of placing. So what will happen to concrete? The concrete will undergo in expansion. So ultimately, what will happen to concrete? The concrete will undergoes in expansion and contraction uh, within the environmental effect. Okay. So in order to overcome all of these problem, what we are doing here? We are placing. the concrete with the help of this joints okay with the help of this discontinuity we are constructing the road pavement so there are mainly two types of joints which are used in the road construction one is the longitudinal joint which is along the length of the road another one is the transverse joint which is at a 90 degree angle of the road okay which is in the transverse direction okay so first of all uh, we will explain the concept of longitudinal joints in the road what is a longitudinal joint a joint which is placed along the longitudinal direction of the road is called as longitudinal joints and the joints which is placed along the transverse direction is called as transverse joint okay so why we are placing the longitudinal uh, joints so longitudinal cracks may occur in the road surface just because of the differential swelling or uh, shrinkage of the subgrade soil okay what is the subgrade soil is subgrade soil is nothing but the natural soil strata which is present below the road surface okay so if the subgrade soil undergoes swelling or shrinkage which is differential the uh, this may cause the crack in the longitudinal direction on the road surface in order to overcome this problem what we are doing here we are providing a longitudinal joint in the road surface as you can see this is the longitudinal joints in the road surface along the longitudinal direction okay so this is the longitudinal joints in the road section which is connecting the these two lanes and uh, which is connected with the help of this tiny tie bars this tie bar is nothing but the bars which are used to tie these two lanes which is uh, generally 12 or 10 mm in dia okay and the length and the dia will depend upon the design and also the client specification okay that means this two lens this two lens that one and this one is connected with the help of tie bars which is placed inside here okay so this is the longitudinal joints now let us come to another type of joint that is transverse joints okay so transverse joint are nothing but the joints which are placed in the transverse direction to the longitudinal Uh, joints or longitudinal section of the road okay so these are the transverse joints okay the transverse joints are further classified into three types of joints first one is the expansion joint second one is the contraction joint and third one is the warping joint okay we will see the expansion joint and contraction joint on the uh, practically we will see it and the third one is the warping joint we will see it theoretically because i think the warping joint is a theoretical concept so we will explain it theoretically so as i have already explained why we are 
using the expansion joint and contraction joint in the road surface okay so let us take with the example uh, the temperature of the concrete at the time of placing is suppose 30 degree celsius that means the concrete temperature is 30 degree celsius during summer what will happen uh, the environmental temperature go beyond 30 degree centi it will be up to 40 45 degree in the summer season okay so what will happen the temperature of the concrete is 30 degree celsius and the outer temperature of the environment is uh, 45 near about to 45 uh, degree celsius uh, in example i am explaining so what will happen the concrete will undergoes the expansion okay so in order to relieve the expansion stresses in the concrete what we will do we will provide the expansion joints in the concrete if we provide the expansion joint in the concrete the concrete will not get cracks okay so expansion joints are needed in the concrete as you can see this is the expansion joint the thickness of the expansion joint is uh, near about to 20 to 25 centi as you can see this is the expansion joint which is near about to 20 to 25 centi okay this expansion joints are then connected with the help of dowel bars dowel bars are nothing but the bars which is of uh, near about to 30 to 32 uh, dia centi bars okay uh, which is uh, 60 near about to 60 centi in length uh, the half portion of the dowel bar will come to this length and half portion will come to that section okay so what will dowel bar do the dowel the one end of the dowel bar is fixed and another end is free to move so what will the dowel bar do when the vehicle came in the road direction along this direction the dowel bar yeah, in this side is fixed another side is free to move so when the traffic is coming to this direction dowel bar do one thing it will transfer this um, this section load to the adjacent section load so the uh, chances of getting cracks in the road will be reduced so this is the expansion joint you know one thing the expansion joint is also behave like a contraction joint it also help the uh, concrete slab to get contract okay let us understand the contraction joint okay uh, with the help of an example suppose the temperature of the concrete at the time of placing uh, the road surface is uh, 30 degrees celsius and what will happen in the uh, winter the temperature of the surrounding is less than 30 degrees celsius so what will happen to the road surface the road surface will get shrink okay so in order to overcome all of this problem we are providing contraction joint in the road surface so if this is the contraction joint contraction joint will form with the help of cutter okay and the uh, depth of cutting is equals to h by 4 okay so what is the h h is the total height of the road surface so h by 4 is the depth of cutting of the contraction joint okay and all this expansion joint and contraction joint and longitudinal joint after uh, completion it will be sealed with the help of bitumen tar so this is the bitumen tar which is used to seal the joint okay as you can see this is bitumen tar which is used to seal the joints so dowel bar are not recommended to use in the contraction joint where the dowel bar are uh, required in the expansion joint some of the client may uh, recommend you to use the uh, dowel bar in contraction joint also okay I will tell you in this video that uh, the longitudinal joints are provided when the uh, width of the section go beyond 4.5 meter okay means if suppose the width of the lane goes if the width of the lane goes more than 4.5 meter then we need to provide the longitudinal joints in the road otherwise the longitudinal crack would definitely form due to the uh, more weight of the uh, concrete slab okay so the two adjacent contraction joint this one and that one okay is provided at a distance of 4.5 meter in general okay and the two expansion joints are generally provided at a distance of uh, 50 to 60 